Hannah, the violin is obviously the love of your life. When did you start? Uh, well, I started on piano when I was five, but I wasn't that good at the piano. So when I was ten, I heard um, my teacher teaching on the violin, and I thought, well, that sounds a lot better. So um, I changed over to violin at ten, which is pretty late, but then I practiced really hard every day, and I progressed quickly. So... So in your career, is this now your career? Yeah, yeah, full time. It, um, basically, yeah, I progressed went through my grades really quickly and then I um, did my A-levels at Junior Trinity and then I won a bursary to the London College of Music and then you do various other things, master classes with different violinists and hopefully win some prizes and then you gradually work your way up. That's <laughs> you mentioned master classes, we're filming uh, some of the Royal Opera House uh, delivering a master class with pianists. Are you always learning? Yes, always learning, and I say it to all my pupils as well. I think, I, th I think it was Rudy Menu who said that if he ever stopped being an amateur, he'd give up the violin. And I think, because an amateur actually doesn't mean someone who's not very good, it means someone who enjoys the instrument and always wants to learn. And so I think even professionals are still amateurs, hopefully. So, um, yeah, always learning, always, and always struggling if you're ill for a day. Then you go back the next day and you ache a little bit and you have to really work extra hard on technique and do a couple hours of scales and arpeggios and things. So. Are you a harsh critic of yourself? Yes. Well, I've taught myself two different things. I am very hard. Everyone is very hard on themselves. But you have to teach yourself to have concert mind and practice mind. In practice mind, you practice, practice, and you pick up on every little thing. But concert mind, you have to forget it all and just go out and enjoy yourself. And almost and teach yourself to cover the mistakes because mistakes only generally happen because you think they're going to happen. So, young people who I like playing my music for me, I like playing my music and you know earn enough money to continue living from the music. But I do, I do, I've, I don't know how I've, I've started having sort of a mission and I do want to bring more um, classical music to Tharic in particular. We've started a, a music school, a training school where we have teachers work for us teaching the violin and. Um, I don't want to dumb down classical music at all. I want, but we we bring good composers, show them all about the composers. Um, it is really good classical. Music. Anyone says I don't like classical music. There's 400 years plus of classical music, so that's like saying you don't like Frank Sinatra. So I don't like pop music. It's just it's ridiculous. There will be something there for everyone. Just listen. Mm.